Well, hey there, good looking. How are you guys doing today? <coughs> oh man, Reese, dude, start me off strong. Thank you so much. Well, 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 what do we have today? I think that's an important question that we need to answer right here. Donations already? I know it's insane! Race is freaking insanely awesome. I've got a fun little video idea for you guys. So if you guys don't know, the engineer is a very, very weird tower. I actually don't think I should start off with this guy. I just realized that. I just realized I probably made a massive... Massive mistake, but we're gonna go with it anyways. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna go whoop, 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 whoop. There we go. Get that camo detection. We go up for a crossbow pretty freaking soon. We're gonna get a Dora going, dude. Things are gonna be wild. Yeah, if you guys didn't hear, uh, Kobe Bryant actually, no joke, just literally died uh, a couple hours ago. Um, obviously very, very sad. Uh, you know, I don't really like talking about sad things on my channel, but uh, just in case you are. You know, didn't know yet. Um, it's true. It really did happen. Extremely upsetting, huh? It's weird because you think about it, you're like, oh, he's just there. And then all of a sudden he's gone. He's only 41 years old, I think. So it goes to show you that it can literally happen to anybody. Um, you know, it was in a helicopter crash, too. And I I'll be straight with you guys. I think that I will probably never, ever ride in a helicopter uh, for this exact freaking reason. I am afraid that I will die in a helicopter crash. Now, luckily, I can't afford a helicopter, so I think that's that's uh, actually a good thing. So, uh, hey, I like salad. Oh, man, I can't say that I agree with you there, though, dude. I'm not sure that I like salad. But it's awesome that you like salad because that means you can stay healthier, man. Get that chicken nuggy, chicken nuggy salad action going and all that stuff, man. Oh, yeah, extremely, extremely sad, you know. What you gonna do? But let's move on here, guys. Let's try and talk about positive things rather than negative things. There's so much negative stuff going on in the world, you know. You, you can never pay attention to all of it. So the best thing you can do, or, or the best thing I, the way I, oh crap, oh crap, I got no lead popping power. All right, I guess we're gonna go for a mortar. <laughs> forgot about leads. <laughs> I forgot about leads. Oh crap. All right, so that was pretty bad. All right. Well, if you guys haven't realized by now, things are not going very well. Um, we are, we're struggling pretty hard, actually. Life is mediocre at best, I would agree with you. I mean, there's so much pain and suffering going on in the world that, uh, you literally, it, it's kind of sad, because if you think about, um, you know, one person dying, that's sad. You think about a thousand people dying, I mean, that's really sad. You think about a million people dying, and you're just like, what's the difference, you know? It's, it's so sad, like, you, you can't mentally feel one million times as sorry uh, as, as, you know, as, as one person dying. It's so weird to think about it like that, but that's the kind of the way I feel. So, honestly, the best thing you can do is just to try to ignore all the negatives in the world, you know, at least to the best of your ability here. As sad as it is, it's just the way it's gotta be. All right, um, we are currently playing alternate balloon rounds, which means we've got a kind of ridiculous amount of weird crap going on at the moment. I'm hoping that I can get a quick, uh, uh, I'm thinking what I want to get. So I want to get a ninja pretty soon. But I think I've, before I do that, I got to go for a... <gasps> Dartling Gunner is leaked? What are you talking about, man? What what, what what kind of leaked information you got here? Where is it leaked? I want to know. I want to know. Hard mode. Oh. Oh, oh. So we're going to go for a quick farm before we do anything. I don't want to go crazy with the farms. I'm just thinking like one farm. Let's make me happy to have it, you know? This is a metal I don't have, by the way. Um, so Dartling Gun might be coming soon is what, it's, is what it sounds like. Now I've known about this for a little while. The Dartling Gun has been like in the making. Uh, or at least they planned for it at the very... At the, it's crazy because they, they planned for it at the release of uh, BTD6 basically. Like they knew it was coming. Um, so it's kind of insane that it's finally like getting ready to happen. What? Why, why do these guys suck? Why, why, why is this not working? Um, we're going to go night vision goggles. We're going to go full metal jacket here for this lead popping power. Camo lead popping power for round 24. I know. It's freaking insane. But, uh, yeah, that's all I really know about. So if there's more information, I mean, that's freaking cool, dude. Maybe we'll talk about it soon. All right. More random purple blooms that are just 
being lame. I don't, I don't get it. I, I don't really understand. Uh, my camera protection is not that good at the moment. I think I'm going to have to go for, like, a village pretty soon, I think. Um, no, 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 no. So the Dartling Gun is going to come. That is fairly certain. Uh, as far as timing is concerned, I don't know what's going to happen with that. So here we go. It looks like we're going to need, at the very least, a ninja here. And we're probably still going to lose. Um, oh. All right. So we don't lose here. We're going to have to sell our freaking farm. Get freaking double shot. Suck my balls. Oh, man. Well, at least we survived. I guess that's the good news here. We survived. Uh, I'm going to be going for an alchemist here. Now, this is sort of goofy because I don't really like this. All right? I don't like this, but I guess it's the way we got to play it. We're going to go for an alchemist uh, right here next to our engineer. And I do want to get my engineer up eventually, but for now, it's not all that good. Um, my, my basic game plan here is to get the uh, top path engineer. So here we go. Finally, rebound my freaking farm. <sighs> Sucks to do it that way, but it's the way it's got to be, guys. The way it's got to be. Dartling on ability could be interesting. Um, I'm curious to see what they do with that. That's for sure. I think it's probably going to be very similar. I think um, uh, I think they're probably going to do very similar paths to the other one. But the third path is the kind of real question mark here. Like, what are they going to do with that? Um, I don't know. There we go. We buy our two zero farm. Yay! We're alive. We're doing it. We're, we're, we're chugging along. Um, round 40, though, is coming up pretty soon, and that's going to be a bit of a tricky one for us, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. What I might end up doing is I might, go in, I might go double alchemist here. From Slovakia. Well, that's fun. Oh, that's pretty sweet. A lot of a lot of people from uh, all different areas of the world, huh? It's fun. All right, we need more cam detection. As sad as that is. Holy crap. Oh, my God. No. No. Why are these balloons freaking sneaking through, man? Oh. Well, we're not dead. I guess that's the good news here. I gotta go for this fourth tier ninja. I need the 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 camera detection. Usually in this scenario, I I I would probably not do an engineer start, and I guess I'm I just mismathed what I was able to do here. So um, yeah. Here we go. This is gonna make me feel so much better though having this guy. Yes, fourth tier ninja with at least a third tier alchemist here, but hopefully a fourth tier fairly soon. Well, let's go. How's everybody doing? I mean, I'm doing okay. I'm doing pretty good. Pretty good. All right. It looks like we should be able to afford it here. You just sent a donation through Twitch chat. Oh, man. Yeah. There it is. From Decimator or from somebody else? Uh, I don't have the sound in my ears. That's why I need the sound in. Yeah, I know. I wear headphones. It's so goofy, right? It's the goofiest things ever. Why is everybody talking about dartling guns now? Like, did I get did I get the the, the energy flowing for you guys? Maybe a little bit too much. All right, here we go. Oh, <gasps> dude, we're done. I forgot it's a reinforced Moab. Oh, good game. We're gonna have to restart. I'm not even messing with you guys. We're literally dead. I just forgot that it was a reinforced Moab for some reason. Uh, I think the chances of us surviving here are about two percent. Yes, the two percent comes through. It comes through. Oh my god. Holy crap. Woo. All right. All right, now things are going to start changing here, boys. Things are going to change for the better here. We're going to go like this. We're going to get our uh, our village here. We're going to go boom. We're going to go bigger radius on this guy. Hopefully, Adora's for... Oh, yes, thank you, Adora. Thanks for being in the range there, little buddy. And we're going to go for a freaking heli pilot here. Go bam, shazam, pursuitify this chick. Uh, it's now, yeah, it's a girl in there. I don't know if you guys knew that. We're going to go uh, radar scanner on this stuff. So all of our towers now have camo detection. It's going to be a freaking game changer over here, boys. Oh, yeah. Feeling good. Feeling good. Need to get some farms flowing, though. I think that's one of my biggest issues at the moment is my lack of money flowing in. See, yeah. See, I shouldn't have even said anything about the rolling gun, you know. It's just like then what, as soon as that happens, it, the, the questions start flowing. When? How? Where? What? When? Dartling gun? I heard Dartling gun somewhere, Chris. You know that <laughs> I feel like you guys are like ravaged wolves when it comes to stuff like that, man. It gets pretty wild, huh? So here we go. Um I can't say I'm feeling good, but I'm feeling alive right now. Uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for a second alchemist, alright? This is goofy. Do we? No, maybe I don't. Do I? I guess I do. I do. 
Everything's just so bad. I, I, I didn't plan this out right. I didn't plan this out properly. Uh, I just jumped in here and started playing the game, and then, like, I'm making mistakes, and then I make more mistakes that are compounding on top of my previous mistakes right now, guys. So, yes, I've got compounding mistakes happening. Uh, things are not going well. Let me say that much. Now, I think I'm actually going to chill with just a third tier here instead of a fourth tier. Not going to be super duper powerful, but it helps out just enough. Just what we need it to be, basically. I'm doing alternate balloon rounds here. Uh, we are trying to get a nice century expert for now, and we're going to go for a century. Paragon, $34,000. <laughs> right, Decimator? Right, I mean, that's how it is, fan. When? I don't know. How? I don't know. Where? I don't know. Why? Money. All right, I know one of the answers. <laughs> Why? Money. It's that easy, huh? All right, here we go. Oh, crap. Two reinforced Moabs here. That was... That was tricky. Alright, so we can't survive with what we currently have here. Um, question is, what do I want to build? Is the door going to be level 10 soon? Once we get a door to level 10, we can do a lot of weird things to keep ourselves alive. So, uh, this is what I'm going to do here, boys. I'm going to do that. I think. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be ready. To pull off the most sick nat- No, oh, oh, that won't work, that won't work. Will it work? I don't know. What's coming out here? These reinforced or non-reinforced? Reinforced or non-reinforced? Oh, here we go. Reinforced Moab. One of them we're, we could deal with. One of them we're good. Um, let's get faster firing. Whoop, 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 whoop. Faster firing we're good with. Adora, level 8. Can't spend 3 grand on her. No way, no way. Here we go. Another third tier banana farm. Um, alright, these are non-reinforced mobs, that's good news for us. That means we can defend them. The reinforced aspect just makes it so much more difficult. But a BFB already? Huh, what? Why is that happening? Oh no. I don't know how I feel about this. Oh man, like I said, my, my, my mistakes are compounding on top of each other at the moment. With the Dora here, we should be good for around 54. Hopefully. Yes, we are. We're good. We're good. 55. Struggling a little bit, but not too bad. Not too shabby at this point. Uh, Adora is just about to be level 10, so that's kind of exciting. But realistically, the next thing that I want to do is I want to try and get my Sentry Paragon going, like, soon after that. Uh, hopefully before round 63, but if that doesn't happen, then I might have to do something else. And we got big camel rushes coming in round 63, dude. Like, what the hell? BFB incoming. Reinforced BFB, I should add. Not just any old regular BFB in here. The ninja's really keeping us alive here. The sentry expert, not bad. Not good. Uh, multiple of these guys. All right. All right. I just have to re freaking start, dude. I sucked up right. Sucked it up right from the get go. That was so bad. I just feel bad about myself. I don't want to keep playing that map because I just know that I screwed it up and screwed it up and screwed it up again. So let's start over. Let's do a good job this time around. How does that feel, okay? Let's do a better job. Um, <clears throat> I picked a bad map to show off the engineer. Absolutely. <laughs> a 200%. Uh, I just started to get him too early. Realist what? Why is that guy missing the balloons? What was that? What was that? I don't know what that was. It's the first and last aspect of this guy that makes it so weird. I wonder if the dart monkey spot would be better here. Because he could probably reach down to the bottom there as he chases. But regardless, uh, we're doing okay for now. Um, I've got the camo detection. I've got this guy going. I think we're going to get a door a little bit faster this time around. Uh, that will allow us to at least get our ninja going so we can alchemize them and get them flowing. Get the money actually coming in so we can buy things as we want them, rather than as we're forced to get them. Uh, and that's what really is going to change here. No, Oh yeah, Led's coming on round 10, so that should be good for an Adora play. Here we go, looking good, looking good. Dart Monkey's missing balloons like a freaking idiot, I don't know why. Stop missing, bro! Come on, man! Here we go, perfect timing for that Lead popping power, we're feeling good. Are you guys feeling good? I don't know. I'm feeling okay. Uh, 
Okay. We got this. Lead balloon popping power. Boom. We got it. <clears throat> Stop spamming numbers, please. Um, so, uh, what we're going to do, hopefully, is get some Nanner Farm action in here. That's going to change the game for us a lot. Man, I, w I just realized I wasted 50 monkey money on my freaking farmer here. Do I need to do that, man? I don't know. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Purple popping power, not good enough. The good news is we're still losing just enough lives to stay alive, as weird as that is. Uh, without losing any real lives here, but this crossbow spot sucks, dude. I need my ninja. I need him, like, now. ASAP. Stat. Get it together, Chris. Get it together, man. I know, I know. That's what I should be doing, getting it all together here. Now, oh, this is going to change things so much better. So what we're going to do is we're going to do something smart here. All right, watch this 2,000 IQ play here. We're going to get one of these guys up real quick. We're going to be greedy about it, all right? I'm hoping that I got enough money here to make this all happen. Really hoping for the love of everything. Hallie is underrated? Oh, I don't think so. Controversial Chris. We might do controversial Chris. I don't know. Here we go. We got a nice little heli coming in here. Come on, heli. Do your job. Do your job, bro. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. All right. Good news for us. We're still alive here. Now, though, we need something for camo leads. So we're going to have to get a quickity quick. What's the sniper? There we go. 1-1. One, one. All right. There we go. Um, so, come on, guys. I am actually upset with you guys today. There's way too many people spamming stupid crap. <laughs> so, uh, uh, please, come on, bear with me here. I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to be a jerk here, but, like, just ruining the chat for people, man. Have a conversation. Have fun. Talk amongst each other. But, like, spamming the same word over and over again, man, I think I'm going to start banning people instead of just timing them out. Like, that's just not cool. Like, it's purposefully just being annoying. But anyways. Anyways. It's alchemist time. All right, I'm hoping that realistically the way this is going to work is the ninja's going to get powered up the most, helipal's going to get powered up the second most, and then we're going to deal with a, uh, uh, a decent level... Maybe, I mean, maybe if he can reach across over the other side, maybe we can even get this guy, uh, uh, powering up, um, some stuff. Alright, we're doing okay here. Ninja's keeping us alive for now. For now. No real lives have been lost. I think that's the kind of craziest part about this. Oh, don't worry. Engineer's coming, man. Engineer's coming. But for now, I gotta get I gotta get started in here. I picked a tough map. I picked a map that I did, haven't even gotten the medal on yet. That's how tough this one is. And I'm playing it live for you guys. So I'm uh, pushing myself to the limit. A uh, little bit more money. Want some more money up in here. I'm a little greedy. You guys know how I am. I'm the greediest guy in the entire world, right? Here we go. Still alive. I'm surprised. All right, uh, one thing I want to do is I want to get a village going, but I think I'm going to have to wait. So I think I'm going to have to, instead of going for the village here like I want to, I'm going to do what I did last time. I'm going to get that Berserker Brew with Stronger Stim. I'm going to get my ninja going, and I have to hope that maybe I can get another random tower in here that can help me out against round 40. Because last time, we just about lost on round 40, right? Like a monkey is might not be a bad guy. A sub might not be a bad guy to get. For sure. But if you guys haven't heard, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. So, uh, um, if you guys haven't heard, by the way, the engineer got a pretty large buff. When I say large, 
And you guys might be thinking, like, oh, crap, Chris. Like, you got, like, a little tiny baby, little tiny baby buff over here. Now, I'm talking about, like, a buff that makes him go from, like, uh, I think it's, like, three normal pops to five stops. So, like, almost doubling his popping power over here. Oh, I already banned a couple people today, so. Yeah. So, I don't know if that's what you guys want to do, but hey, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'm ready. <laughs> you know? Alright, so we got... Uh, here we go. We got this. We got Caltrops this time around. That's going to help us out quite a bit. I think I'm going to go for that Quad Darts. That's going to help us out a lot for the uh, Moab here. Quad Darts with faster firing. The question, I guess, is, is like, will it be enough, though? Uh, I don't know. I'm a little afraid, to be honest. I think I, I want to get Pursuit. I think that'll help us out a little bit. It's kind of like a waste of money, though, almost, if you really think about it. But, uh, here we go. I got Pursuit there. Hmm... Alright, I'm just going to hope for the best here. If I can get a low-level sub right here, just to kind of help out just a tiny, tiny bit. Alright, let's go, baby! Alright, get get a, get a door going, man. But boom And this time, oh, man! We annihilate it! No problem whatsoever this time around. But now my village has nowhere to go. So, I was, oh, you know what? I think this might actually work. $1,000, though. I'd rather get a farm for now. My one single ninja here is really, like, keeping me up in the game here. Hey, if you want to be banned, man, let me know. Uh, so, so if you guys don't know, the, the way it used to work, I'm not sure if this is still the way it does work, but faster firing does increase the speed, but faster darts, read the description here, darts are propelled much faster through the air. They don't actually make him shoot faster. So it's like a, it's like a misguided upgrade, I guess. Alright. Um, so, alright, what do we guys want to do? It's already around, well, we're getting lots of money here, man. I feel like this is the time to freaking make the money. Uh, and I don't mind popping in one quick little dirty, dirty engineer right here, baby. Alright, we're going to move him just a little bit further away. I don't want to alchemize him on accident. Like, it's okay if he does get alchemized on accident. But, uh, I'd rather have my ninja and my heli getting powered up way, way more, you know? Um. Alright, let's do it, man. Freaking sprockets here. Let's go sentry expert on this. Woo! There it is. Why is the engineer dirty? Oh, man. I don't know, that's kind of actually a tough, tough answer right there. He just is. He's a dirty guy. Um, here we go. We're going to get the quick uh, radar scanner on this crap. Whoop! Oh, 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 oh! Two Moabs at round 50! I feel like that's unfair. You know? That should not happen. All right, we got the radar scanner going. We're going to get the jungle drums on these guys as well. It'll increase the speed of both my ninja, my alchemist, and my heli pilot. All important things for me today. Uh, does not get this guy cam detection yet. Yet. Um, but I think it's about that time. We're gonna start saving it up. I think the next few rounds should be good. Um. Yeah, <laughs> I could sacrifice some stuff. That might, that's not a bad idea, to be honest. But I think I'd rather kind of push my, my limit here a little bit. These guys are each worth $5,000. So if I sell all three, that's 15 k Dollars. Right then and there. And then uh, I've only really needed another, what, $18,000 saved up here? So I'm almost there. I need another eight grand and we're good. We are uh, I have no idea what MetLab is. <gasps> Holy crap, we almost lost right there. Oh my god. Well, we're getting tight right now. Camo balloons are obviously a pretty big problem here. <laughs> I'm getting afraid, man. I really hope we don't lose. We lost one real life here at this point. That's pretty wild. Is Adora still the best hero? I think so. I think Adora is beastly. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Little heli, go, baby, go! Oh, my God! Look at that! Look at that! We stayed alive. All right, we got to go for it, man. Freaking Sentry Paragon. Here he is! Sentry Paragon. Throw him down, baby. Throw him down. 
We're hoping for the best here. I get rid of all of my farms to make this happen here. And it looks like... <gasps> oh, that guy is good. That guy's real good. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to end up popping down a quick jungle drums here. Speed him up a little bit. We'll give him that camo detection. Uh, I'm spending a lot of money on this extra camo detection here. I know. I know. It's sort of like a waste of money at this point, but... I think it's going to be worthwhile for us. Now I've got like five solid, six solid engineers popping down all at the same time. Look at these camo blues, though. Oh my god, we almost lost. We almost lost. That's crazy. You came at the perfect time, my friend. Perfect time to watch us hopefully, hopefully beat round 63. The scariest round in the game. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to pop down a quick overclock. Crappy engineer for now. Soon he'll be good. Reinforced BFP coming out right now. Come on, engineers, for the win! Look at that power! That is good! That's real, real good! I love it, man. Alright. Um, Pat Fusty is thick. He's a thick boy right there. That's very true. I don't know why that got brought up, but he, he's thick. Now, if I had to think, like, if, if there really was, like, a... If you couldn't use magic, alright, and there was just, like, every hero had to like fight each other heroes like round robin or one on one or something like that like who would really win um ooh, man we're gonna do we're gonna do the pin upgrade here I don't think that actually does anything but we almost lost we almost lost we almost lost man first ceramic rush we almost lost oh this is scary stuff but if there was a gigantic one oh a door doesn't have cam detection here or does she? Oh, man! We take him down. We take him down. We take him down. We're still alive for now. Moab's coming in here at the end of round 63, and it looks like we could. We should, and we do. We survive again. All right, Adora. Let's go, baby. Let's go blast them things to smithereens. I would say that Pat would probably be the best one-on-one -on -one round robin fighting hero in the game. I mean, let's be serious here. How can you? How can you be better? than Pat. He's just, oh my god, he's so scary. He's a scary guy. I mean, he's a little stupid, but it doesn't matter when one punch can just knock you across the room. Dude, your daddy reminds me of like a straight up real gorilla is the best way to put it. Uh, and a real gorilla is a very, very scary, scary animal. Uh, well, the only thing that's interesting is if you actually think about like some of the like tougher animals in the animal kingdom, like, like what would you like least want to like not necessarily have to go one-on-one -on -one up against, but, like, have to deal with in the wild. Like, uh, you know, if something really didn't like you, like, what, what, uh, what you know, it, it, it's hard to say because, like, you might think, like, well, I can climb a tree or something like that. Like, sure. What would you just not want to fight against that you have, like, uh, almost no ability to escape from? Uh, or, like, you're allowed to try to escape, but it doesn't mean you necessarily will. Like, Snakes, I don't care about snakes, whatever. Vipers, I mean, like, you can run away. A, a jellyfish, I mean, you don't want to touch it, obviously. But I was thinking, like, what about a rhino? A rhino or an elephant that really doesn't like you. Like, elephants may be a little bit on the slow side. They're not slow, but maybe you can just run away from it for a little bit and eventually escape. Rhinos, I think those things are pretty freaking fast. If that thing doesn't like you, like, it's almost like a, a bull on mega steroids where if that thing touches you like a bull it horns you you throw throws you in the air it's like it's very strong very powerful um but you can kind of defeat him with speed and stuff like that whereas a freaking uh oh man look at all these moabs coming in Woo! reinforced moabs up the wazoo over here a bull's a little scared but like a rhino man holy crap i don't know what you could do against the guy i mean the only thing you could do is you could probably go climb a tree rhinos can't climb trees but a gorilla, if a gorilla really doesn't like you, I think you're dead. You know, I don't, I, if he wants to kill you, I think you're dead. Oh, uh, scary stuffs, but we're still alive. 14k for an overclock here, that's what we're looking forward to. Let's do it. Honey badgers would not be fun to deal with, but I still feel like you could escape him. You know, if he's like, even if he's coming after you, you can run away probably faster than a honey badger. Gorilla, one hand, just destroy, oh, baby, look at that micro right there, oh my god, overclocking, it's overclocking time, boys, alright, you guys know who we're overclocking, right, ba-bam, this guy right here, 
We're overclocking a ridiculous engineer, man. He's building all the sentry guns right here, though, for some reason. Why doesn't he put them, like, anywhere else? Like, there's the first one I see over here. All right, maybe I'm um, just an idiot. I don't know. By the way, Jonathan, thank you so much, man. I, I thank you for keeping the rule of law. You're like, like I said, you're, uh, uh, he's like the riot police over here. He's bashing people with the shield, bashing people on the head. A shark in its own environment, a shark would probably be this, one of the scariest. If it really wants to kill you, um, I mean, I don't see how you can escape if it really, really wanted to. Uh, the way that you don't get eaten by a shark is basically it doesn't want to eat you. <laughs> you know, like that's, that's the only way. It doesn't want you. Um, uh, I actually really like this show. Back in the day, it was like animal fights. I forget what it was called, but they would literally just pin up two animals against each other. Not in real life, all in theory. All right? And they would have them fight each other in like a computer program, basically. And you got to kind of see them fight each other, look at their strengths and their weaknesses, and like which one would win. And it, for some reason, I don't know why, but it was a really, really fun show. Um, it kind of like brought up like a possible like what I do here with BTD Science sometimes, where I just compare two towers against each other in a realistic scenario, and which one would win. Like sometimes it's like a, a uh, like a good example would be like uh, they did like a shark versus an alligator. Like what would win? I don't remember the outcome actually, but I think the shark ended up winning. Um, and it kind of made sense because like it could swim faster. The only thing the alligator got is that it's on land, but it's not as perfect as a predator. Uh, and it's got like a weak underside stuff like that. It's like you know, it's just it's fun to think about. All right, Sentry Paragon, baby. Uh oh, look at that run seventy. It almost took us down, but it didn't. Shark and a saltwater croc. Yeah, man, they can be, they can exist in the same place. Isn't that crazy? Like a, a polar bear. So if you guys don't know, polar bears are actually the biggest bear. You guys know that? Is that kind of cool? I think that's kind of fun, man. All right, what we got going on right now? Um, basically, bunches of bloods coming in. Alternate balloon rounds, man, is one of the most difficult modes. I gotta say. It's not simple. Last upgrade cost thirty-four thousand dollars here. Uh, round seventy-nine, so we got to do one oh my god here, and then two oh my gods on rounds eighty. But honestly, I'm glad it's not a reinforced oh my god. That would actually be pretty difficult here. Luckily, it's not the case here. And it looks like the little bit of power, the little bit of help, should be able to take these guys down here. Um, so I'm a little bit surprised that Adora is a ability didn't do as much as I thought it would. Lots of balloons coming in here. Let's finish these guys off. Come on! Go, Adora! Go! Adora! Adora, save the day! Adora! Adora! What the heck happened, Adora? Dora, you're supposed to win. You're supposed to beat the balloons, Adora. Did I accidentally overclock my my village or something like that? Like, how the heck did we lose to this? I don't know. <clears throat> Here we go. Let's overclock this guy again. Let's get these guys a flowing. Let's look at that. That one's really easy. No problem whatsoever. What happened for this one? All right, let's see if we can take it down. All right, we got this ability, we got this ability. And that one. Oh, oh my God. There it is. Oh man, I, I, I was like, I can't believe we can't survive with this. I know that I had money, but I didn't want to spend the money. I wanted to beat it without it. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, the, the Apache Darcy probably would have, would have kept us alive there, but holy crap. That just made no sense that we almost lost. We're down to 84 lives. That's so scary. So scary. All right. What can we do in free play then? Can we survive at all? I guess maybe going for that Apache Dodge. Trip. So we need to get over here, man. That Apache. Paragon. I don't know, man. I, I, I got to say, I think he is probably not that good of a tower still. Uh... 
After trying them out, oh, wing monkey. We get a wing monkey this action. Oh, that's wing monkey. Wing monkey. Wing monkey. There he is. Best hero in my opinion, Adora. Still love her. She's beautiful. She's amazing. Uh, we're still struggling though. These balloons are strong. There it is, man. 82. That's all we can make it to. Wow. Wow. All right. Well, the good news is we got a, we got like 500 monkey money there. We got a uh, uh, a new medal for us. Rake here, man. I've been working on this for a while. We finally got impoppable and We could do magic monkeys only. That actually wouldn't be too bad, but. Um, it's one of those few maps that I started to not finish these guys off on. What do I have over here? Half cash? <gasps> Half cash mode hasn't been done on this one. Races, man. I, if you guys want me to try to race, I can, but I suck at races. Just straight with you, all right? I, I am not a good racer. Um, I struggle a little bit because I always want to, like, I really want to push the game to its limit, but I'm just not that good. Uh, 78 rounds here. Need a lot of camo detection. So if I was going to try and pop balloons as fast as possible, I would probably go for a boom boom. Right in the middle here, man. Probably go for like a faster rangs. Improve rangs, boom boom. You only get one of every tower here. Um, Alright, we're going to set out a couple rounds in here. Say we take down nine rounds with our boomerang. I don't think so, dude. I don't think so. But my goal is going to be to get a uh, uh, a three zero boomerang. Hopefully, that's what I'm going for. All right, lots and lots of balloons right now. Get them glaives, Chris. Where's the money? Where's the money? Give me more money. Oh god, I haven't played. I haven't played these in a long time. But it looks like we do end up taking these down. Let's send out a few more waves in here. Oh, we're down to nine lives already. Holy crap! All right, let's go for a quick ninja for cleanup. All right, looking pretty good. Glaive Ricochet coming out pretty soon. That's going to be the real game changer for me is this Glaive Ricochet once I can get this guy going. I want to get a Spike Factor, but I don't think I can do it, guys. I need that Ricochet. I need that Ricochet. I need 12, 200 more dollars right now. Glaive Ricochet. Boom, boom. All right. We can send him out for a little bit in here. I'm going to go for a quick ninja. All right, we're doing good, doing good. Um... I'm good for a long time, actually, I think. Got that camera detection. Got that cleanup. We're going to go for a quick alchemist after that. Um, send them all out, man. I'm good. I'm good. All right. Let's power these guys up a little bit. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. I don't have any more popping power yet, but I think I can get it. Uh-oh. I might have sent out too many, man. Hopefully, I didn't. Hopefully, I didn't. Oh, crap. Oh, no. We're done, boys. We're done. There's no way I could take him down. Oh, there it goes. Oh, man. Oh, you have to pay 100 monkey money every time you want to race? That sucks. I forgot about that. All right, we did a pretty good job here starting off, but I was just a little too greedy in the middle there. I was like, oh, we got 3-0 boomerang. Dude, we're freaking done. We're good. All right, fast throwing improved ranks. Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's do this. Uh, ice? Yeah, that actually would be a really good one. I think an ice... Yeah, I like that idea. Eventually, we're going to do that, but for now... Alright, let's do this. I need that glaive thrower. I think we're still going to try that ninja here. I think he's just such a good, like, rando cleanup tower, you know? Because um, I only got 11 lives. You, you kind of forget that 11 lives doesn't go that far. I thought I would have more than that, you know? Um, I think we can send out a few kind of slow, slow rounds up in here. 14. 15 is a tough one. I want to take it slow if I can. Uh, Azealia's free experience. I should definitely be getting her soon. So we're going to go for this guy. We're going to go Glaive Ricochet. We're going to set out a bunch of waves. 23. I think we're good until that point. 24 and 25. We're going to get Azealia down here just so we can have that extra power. Uh... Alright. Take it a little on the slow side, but not too slow. Um, I don't have much camera detection yet, but I'm going to get it soon. I'm going to rely on surviving. Ooh, Azili's camera detection. Ooh, lead balloons. Holy crap. Azili's got to be my lead popping power here. All right, we got to get this guy going. I'm going to get that alchemist as well for a little bit of extra lead popping power up in here. 
We're gonna send him out sort of slow in here. I'm getting overwhelmed right now, though. The lead balloon popping power. We gotta put her on strong, man. That camo detection. I need it. No, the lead balloons. The lead balloons. They took me down, man. Oh, those freaking lead balloons. Gosh darn it. All right. We're gonna try again, man. I'm a little greedy, you know. That's my problem. Is I'm I'm actually I'm quite greedy right from the get go. I'm like I gotta I gotta do a great job, not just beat it, but I gotta do a great job. Wall of Fire is a great great tower. We're gonna get him eventually. Oh, for lead balloons, that's actually not a bad idea at all. I like that now. I like that. All right, round ten already. Am I pushing it too hard? I don't even get a free dart monkey, bro. I think the problem is the eleven lives for me. You know, I'm just I feel like that's just it's too little. All right, boomerang. Rocking these guys for now. Nice little cleanup uh, ninja here. Maybe I need to do like a cleanup, um, not a ninja, but like a that heli pilot or a spike factory or something like that. So here we go. We're gonna send out a few more. We got the money flowing in here. We're about to get that glaive ricochet. Once you get that glaive ricochet, dude, you could do insane stuff. Um, I might have pushed it a little bit too fast here, though. I need another 150 bucks. Come on, come on, Glaive Ricochet, Glaive Ricochet, dude, come on! No, I pushed myself too far again. See, I keep going even faster. I'm like, oh, I can go faster, dude. I can go freaking faster no matter what I'm doing. All right. Not eight rounds. All my monkey money's gonna be gone in no time, guys. Holy crap, it's gonna be gone. Oh, man. So fast. All right. Surprisingly, though, the boomerang is actually doing a pretty good job here. Um, that glaive right there is solid. All right, uh, let's try, let's switch it up just a little bit. We're going to go for this guy first. All right, no ninja. Random cleanup uh, spike factory back here. Sort of slow, somewhat even. Popping power. Boomerang's doing everything right now. I'm really hoping that I can get this glaive ricochet, though. Uh, I need him. I need him. I need him. I need him. Spike Factory's getting overwhelmed here. Come on, little Glaive Ricochet. Come on, little Glaive Ricochet. Once you get that Glaive Ricochet, you good, though. Here we go. We got that ninja going. Oh, yeah, dude. This is freaking intense, though. We got Azili put her on strong this time. Make sure she's popping them lead balloons. We're going to go for that wizard play right in the middle here. We're going to go for that wall of fire. We're, gonna, we're good. We're good, man. Go for that wall of fire. But boom Got him taken care of. We can go all up to 39 right now, man. Monkey sense on this action. Oh, baby, this is looking good. Now we need something for Moabs, though. This is already round 40. Uh-oh. Um, sniper. That's not good. I pushed myself too hard again. <laughs> Dude, the wall of fire got nerfed so hard. It used to be so good. And then they just they just stopped it from being good. Um all right. I need to slow it down a little bit. We can easily do eight rounds, no problem. Uh oop, oops, 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 didn't get this. Oh no, that's that's important. That's extremely important. I pushed myself real hard again, guys. Here we go. We're about to get that big chunk of money, though. That big chunk of money for finishing off these rounds. We're going to take it slow, but we're still going to send them out. Um. Oh, I think that's the game. I think we lost. Yeah, garbage. That sucks. All right. Right a freaking way, man. Just go. Go, balloons. Go. Take them down. Eight rounds solid. Nine and ten. I'm not good at race. I don't do races all that often, you know? I actually, I don't think I've done races since they've actually come out, come into existence. So, in case you're wondering what my skill level on races are. Um, no, yeah, I'm done. I, uh, that's game over. There's no way we can t stop these balloons. There's no freaking way. Or is there? Is there a freaking way? Uh, I think this is a no monkey knowledge play, too. I think. Alright, dude. We're alive. For now. 
Boomerang rocking it right now. But I don't have enough money for these, these stupid balloons right here. I don't have enough money, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Glaive Ricochet! Glaive Ricochet! Ricochet! No! I pushed it too hard again. Why do I suck so much? I just do. I suck. Alright, let's go. Let's go, man. We got this. We got this. We're gonna yeet them balloons. Get them out of here. They're garbage. They got nothing on me, dude. They got freaking nothing on me. I think that ninja was actually a better play for me than the, uh, the spike factory. For some odd reason. I don't know why. It just worked so much better. So here we go. We're gonna do that ninja before we do anything. It's just a nice cleanup ninja. Uh, that's all he does. Hits those balloons just a little bit in there. Gives me more time to work with my, uh... The ice strat. Yeah, you know what? I probably should be using the ice tower here. Screw it. Let's do it, man. Here we go. Azili's popping out here. Um... How are we feeling right now? I'm feeling afraid is what I'm feeling. Feeling so... Oh, so afraid. We got everything kind of covered. Yeah, um, only one ice tower, dude. I could try it. Oh, it's reaching that pop limit. Oh, no. It's reaching that pop limit so freaking fast. <laughs> no. Oh, I pushed it way too hard, dude. Way too hard. That ice tower does not work. Wow. A thousand monkey money just down the drain. Oh, my God. All right. I think I, I, think I can do an ice tower strategy, but not from the get-go like that. Eight rounds seems pretty good. We can do eight rounds pretty fast. Um, can even do nine, push it into nine, maybe even ten here pretty quick without too many issues. Then round 11, though, that's where it starts to get a little tricky. That's where it starts to be uh, uh, not really in my favor necessarily to get it. Discord server, fantastic question, my friend. Ba bam. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's how you do it. Push it a little bit. Going around 16 already. We got that quick spike factor. We're going to get Azili going pretty soon in here as well. But I don't want to push it too hard. Let's take it slow this time. Let's let's just not do a good time and just hopefully survive here. I might have pushed it too hard again. But uh, if I survive this, these next few seconds in here. Um, if, if, if I survive these next few seconds in here. I'm going to take it a little on the slow side. Just to beat it. And maybe we'll go back for a faster time afterwards. But... Uh, if I can get the Glaive Ricochet, I'll be good. If I can't get the Glaive Ricochet, I'm screwed. Glaive Ricochet, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get it, 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 Chris! Come on, Chris! No! It was so close! It was so close! Oh, I hate my life right now, man. I hate it. I hate it. I'm sorry about your ears, guys. I'm so sorry. But, uh, yeah. I, it was, that was so stupid. That should have survived, man. That should have survived. The single dart monkey play. I got the upgrades. It's not fun. The yellow balloons are actually what's killing me here, man. Round 11 for some reason. Oh, good game again. What am I even doing? What am I even doing? <sighs> I just want to give up now. I haven't even made it past round 39. But, but... No, Lightning Druid? No, 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 no. You don't do Lightning Druid on here. Oh, crap. I forgot to press the next round. Well, that wasted like 30 seconds. One thing I'm doing is I'm also... I'm playing it very quick. I just need to stop... Stop the boomerang? What's wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Why would you ever say something like that? I need to just take it slow, too. I'm like speeding it up and crap. 202 boomer? No. Faster throwing, man. That's the way to go. This is the best popping power tower in the game for his freaking price right now. Ice Tower, though, not a bad idea. Um, I'm a little worried about the random balloon sneaking through right now. That's my biggest issue. Uh, larger rays, I think permafrost might help a little bit. 
Uh, see the random loot stinking through? Like, that's a big issue for me right now. I need something that can do cleanup work, basically. And I think that's where the ninja's gonna come in. Um, ninja or that spike factory, either way. But I need him, I need him to be, be good. Uh... Here we go. We can get refreeze, though. Honestly, I'm not even sure if that's necessary at this point. Right. Well, you guys know I'm a greedy mofo. You guys know I can't just chill there doing garbage plays here. All right, eight, nine. All right, let's do it slow. Let's do it slow this time. Let's just get a freaking time on the board, all right? I don't care if it's 7,000th. We're getting a freaking time on the board right now. Right freaking now, dude. We're doing it. We got it. I lost 1,000 monkey money already. I'm just, I'm blowing through my monkey money right now. It's just, oh no. It's no good. Nanner farms. I know we need to get some nanner farms going up in here. No, we don't need any nanner farms. What are you talking about? Oh crap, we're gonna lose. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Oh, that's like nine lives gone. <sighs> Why? Why? Oh no, eight lives gone. We're down 13 here. Boom! Get a freaking ninja going. Shazam! <gasps> oh! Yo, oh, keep me alive! Yes! Little dart monkey! Yes! Go! Alright, here we go. We got Azili going. No, screw Azili. We don't need Azili. She's garbage. She's garbage, boys. She's garbage. We don't need none of that nonsense up in our house. No, 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 no. Instead, I'm going to play it a little bit skillful here. You guys know what we need, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh-oh, I might have overdid it again. No, 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 don't tell me I overdid it. Don't tell me I overdid it. Come on, we're almost there. Almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there. No, it might have been too late. It's too freaking late. It's too freaking late. Last. No, 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 no. I'm so bad. Do nine rounds here. We're good. We're good. We're good. Speed it up. Speed it up. Pretend that never happened. 1,500 monkey money. Not like it matters. Doesn't matter to us at all. All right. Here we go. Got to get that glaive. Got to get them glaives here. Boom! Glaives! Oh, yeah. We're losing some lives here, but we're still alive. Send out some more rounds. Get that ninja. Get that ninja. Yeah! There we go. All right. 17 rounds. No problemo. Clean them up, Chris. Clean them girls up. Come on. $20. $20 freaking dollars. Give it to me. Give me that money. <gasps> oh my god, we're alive! We're alive! We're alive! Oh, keep it going. Keep it going, Chris. Come on. Come on. Yeah! Feeling good right now. Oh, yeah, baby. All right, get our ninja flowing a little bit. We're going to go freaking alchemist on this guy. Oh, heck yeah, dude. We're feeling super good. Put her on strong. Oh, yeah, she's already on strong. I'm already so smart, man. I already figured that crap out. Round 30. <laughs> oh, you silly gooses. Let's get some Berserker action up in here. Berserker brew. All right. 33, smurty three. This is all so good. Oh, so good for us right now. Oh, yeah. 37. Dirty seven. 38. Look at them pink blooms, though. Oh, yeah, 36 is a tough one for us. That's for sure. Oh, yeah, 39. 40! It's already around 40! When did I do that? Why did I do that? No, we don't want round 40 to come out. No! Here we go, Blue Jitsu. More ceramics coming in here. We need that stronger stim, Chris. Get this stronger stim action going up in here. You gotta pop a Moab, Chris! A freaking Moab! Here we go. Pop the Moab. Give me the money for the Moab. Give me the mo oh come on I need the I need the Moab money I need the Moab money boys oh come on come on little oh oh we're alive we're still alive 
Holy crap. Oops. All right, let's go, man. We're freaking doing amazing right now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What else do I want to get? We need some Moab Papa Power in here. So what do we want to get? Let's just go like Super Monkey or something. Heck yeah, dude. Let's go Super Monkey. Super Monkey! He's not generally a good tower by himself, but long term, he's not a bad tower, man. Um, We're getting overwhelmed, though. We're getting overwhelmed right now. This is not going according to plan here. The camo balloons for round 51 are coming in. More glaives. There's so many Moabs on the screen right now. How are we still alive? How are we still alive? I don't know. But we are. We're pushing it, man. Oh, <laughs> look at this deliciousness. Oh, I love it. All right, let's get a freaking glue gunner here while we're at it. Um, we're just going to go, like, bigger globs, glue splatter, some corrosive glue action. Let's get that glue hose. Let's glue every single freaking blue in existence, dude. Let's glue them all. It's round 63. <gasps> I pressed round 63 already. That's not good. No, no, no. Full speed, man. It doesn't make the race clock go any faster. But I'm not sure if we're going to survive here. We can do a village for that extra camera detection. Uh-oh, that's a lot of balloons. That could be the end of us. Could be the end of us. That's round 63 balloons right there, man. Round 63 balloons on top of Moab class balloons. And there they go. Round 63 balloons, man. You can't stop them. You can't freaking stop them. What is the best way to stop around 63 balloons with this current setup? I think... Oh, man, oh, man. So that, to get there, I was at five minutes. Five minutes just to get there. Just to get there. Oh, I bet you the record's going to be like three minutes. Probably lower. Oops, I forgot to... Oh, God. Hold on. What if we just... What if... <gasps> Dude! I found a freaking... Oh, I found an amazing strategy! All we gotta do... Boom! Round 78! Keep sending them out! Oh, yes. Oh, crap! We made it to round 78, though, guys. That was pretty solid, if I do say so myself. That was a pretty good strategy. If we could just do that, but then pop all the balloons, we'll be freaking set. <laughs> Man, now that is an interesting idea right there. Oh my god. I'm not even sure if we can even call that a loss. That might have been a win. Alright, eight rounds. Alright, then we're going to do nine rounds. New record! Best time is 3 minutes 10 seconds. Yeah, oh yeah, dude. That makes sense. I was up to 5 minutes and I still couldn't even beat it. Like, that's how insane some of these people are at the races. Um, admittedly, I am playing on full speed right now. Um, so, I, I get how that some people might be able to, like, pull off something in, like, in a very slow speed. Not live streaming and stuff, and stuff like that. But, still, that's pretty wild if they can do that. Um, jumbo problems require jumbo solutions. I love it. Alright, here we go. We got that glaive thrower. That's what we needed. We're about to get a lot of money, though, so we're going to send it a few rounds. Um, maybe till around, like, 14 here. We need that ninja very soon. Here we go. We get that ninja flowing. Round 15 is coming out. Uh, looking pretty good for us overall. Um, take it a little bit on the slow side around these rounds so we can get our boomerang up to third tier. Because that's when everything changes drastically. That's when you're, like, just good, you know? Once you can get this uh, Glaive Ricochet, things change drastically. So he pops, like, 100 balloons per shot or something like that. It's pretty amazing. Um, the sad thing is, is that we are about to lose. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't feel like I pushed it that hard. I just felt like we are doing it right. 
One of the things that I, I do too much is I accidentally press speed up instead of press the next round, you know? I actually did. So after round 78, I'm not sure if Bluetons get sent out faster than that. Because I pressed it like 100 more times after that, and I didn't see any DDTs or anything. So that's just an interesting uh, little tidbit right there. I don't know if faster if Red Hot Rings will be better than Faster Rings. Especially, uh, yeah, I just don't think it's going to work the way you think it is. But I could give it a shot if you really want. Um... Yeah, that looks like that's the end for us, boys. Yeah. Wow. 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 Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I, I know. I needed a 204 cannon, not a 402, but I accidentally bought the third tier on the top path. So that was a mistake on my part that I shouldn't have done. But I thought with the glue gunner and the cannon combo, it would have been okay. But I guess it just doesn't matter. I guess it just don't matter. All right, we'll try the Red Hot Rings next. Um, if I remember, remind me, guys. Otherwise, I'm going to forget. It's it's so easy to forget stupid stuff like that. Um, one other thing is I could try that Ice Tower before, uh, before I get the third tier Boomer. That's another possible strategy for us. Here's some Yellow Blooms coming in. Alright, need that ninja money, like right now, like give me the ninja money, come on, where's my ninja money? Give me my ninja money, come on, I need my ninja money! I need my ninja money! Where's my ninja money? There we go, ninja money, alright, here we go, ninja money is in. Ice tower money is in. Uh, larger radius, permafrost, I think that's all we need for now. Um, we'll send a few more rounds. I think that might help us out, kind of get us, getting us, like, flowing up in here. Um, that'll hopefully get us to the, uh, Glaive Ricochet is what we need to go for next. Or, you know what? Screw it. Let's go with Zeely next, just so we can get some experience on this chick. Because late game, she's gonna be beastly. Oh, that's what I need to do. I need to use, if I can get her up to level 10, I can get her abilities going. And that's gonna change the game a lot. Uh, we are starting to lose lives here, though, which is kind of upsetting. Um, there's not that many really sneaking through, but, like, I really want that Glaive Ricochet instead of Spike Factory. So here we go. Oh, here it is. Boom. Glaive Ricochet. Boom. All right. All right. Um, let's do that. Let's go for that quick wizard. Gotta get a wall of fire wizard up in here. With, uh, hopefully cam detection as well. Round 34 already. Um, there we go. We got the monkey sense up. Cam, detec cam detection's not here yet. It's not in play yet. I'm gonna need to get that alchemist going as well. There we go. Ba boom. 39. So I'm around 39, and some people are already like finishing at this point. That's the crazy thing about this game. That's just insane. So I'm waiting on the Moab here. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about this, but. Uh, also, my boomerang, you're right, guys. My boomerang is not working in conjunction with my other towers at the moment. Uh, my ice tower in particular. Yeah, that was my bad. That was totally my bad. I sent it like four rounds in a row. Like an idiot. Um... That one I admit defeat on for, for garbage reasons. For Chris being a garbage person. Alright, eight solid rounds. Let's speed this up for a second. I think this is where we get some decent money flowing in. Send out nine and ten. We're not waiting on eleven is usually usually the best option, I think. Uh for a few seconds at least. Here's the glaive thrower. Boom boom. Maxing out. We can set it a few more rounds. We're about to get that. Uh, nice money flowing in here. Here's round 13. Uh, we can set up 14, and now we can get that ice tower flowing just like we did last time with a larger radius, and then we're good until 19, I think. Permafrost, I think, helps out a lot because it gives our other towers time to kind of react, basically. Um, I did it again, though. I forgot to get red hot rings. I know. I suck.
All right. All right, let's try the Red Hot Rings. I'm going to actually remember this time. Let's try them. I don't think I'm going to like them, but I'll give them a shot. We're going to go for a Red Hot Rings, Improved Rings, Glaive Thrower, is what people have been telling me. No, I'm not changing the title. This is just, we're just going with it. And now he's got extra range, though. That's actually, I'm not sure if that's a good thing. Um... Here's the glaives. Can't say I told you so, but I think I think I told you so. We can try the faster throwing red hot rings. I uh, don't know how I'm gonna feel about that though, because that does not allow me to get top path uh, boomer anymore. You know. I wanted the Sun Avatar. I was working towards it last game. So we go nine rounds. Let's see if this is going to work. We're going to get the faster rings on top of the Red Hot rings here. Um, still not positive it's going to work in our favor here. It just doesn't go through very many layers. Yeah, it doesn't work at all. So I, it's kind of as I, as I expected. I just kind of know that this is a good boomerang. If you're going to go for a boomerang on this, you need to go for a faster rings, improved rang glaive thrower. It just is better. All right, trust me on that, guys. Uh, we just kind of proved it by wasting 200 monkey money. Uh, sometimes it is kind of nice to just try a completely different strategy. That's, that's true. We could just kind of walk in here and try a different strategy. Here we go, Glaive Thrower. Ooh, that's not cooking good. Is that all of my lives? Haha, <laughs> we're down to two lives. Holy crap. All right. Um. All right. Uh, it's getting pretty wild over here. Getting pretty wild. There it is. There it goes. There it goes. Okay. I'm going to do a 10-minute race here, boys. That's what it's come down to. It's just a 10-minute race. Can't break it. Can't beat it. I'm gonna join him. Just gonna, just gonna do it. Nine ten. Glaive thrower. They just take out everything just one like minuscule step slower. You know, that's all we need to do. <laughs> All right, we're pushing it to the limit, but we're still alive, boys. Okay, pure and utter focus. We've got from Super John Bombo right now. Pure, utter, focus.
Damn! <clears throat> Holy crap, still freaking alive somehow. I don't know how, but we're still alive. I really want my sun avatar. That's what I gotta get. Sun avatar, boys. There we go. Round 78. All we gotta do is win now. Come on, baby. Let's do this. Go, go, go. You can do it, baby. You can do it! Come on! Take him down! Six minutes and 47 seconds! Kill them all! You can do it! He's doing it! He's doing it! He's gonna do it, guys! He's got it! Oh! We're rookie of the year! Yes! Yes! Our 10 minute race with one life left! Oh my god, after wasting 3,000 monkey money, guys. There it is. 7 minutes, 35 seconds. Wow. Alright, what's the leaderboard at? <laughs> Dude. It's funny because... These guys are awesome. I, I'm not even freaking close. I, I'm curious. I'm the top 10%. That's good. But the top 100 people are uh, 3 minutes and 43 seconds or less. But these people are racing a lot. I mean, these guys got like 32 uh, awards. These people are racing all the time, man. This must be like the top 10 badge. This guy's got first, second, and third badges. Wild. Oh, yeah, you can see, once the people get up here, man, they've got a lot of top badges. Wow. I get 300 monkey money at the end of this. That's going to recoup about 5% uh, of the monkey money that I lost. <laughs> just, just a measly 5%. What is the top strategy? I'm actually curious. What, what, um... What would be the top strategy for this map? I don't know. I just kind of went with my gut. I mean, is it just pure ice tower glory, I guess? Popping them as soon as possible, maybe? Uh, that can definitely give you that, like, small boosty advantage there. Um, anyways, I think I'm going to do one last video for you guys. Or one last thing for you guys. We're going to do something very, very simple. All right. We are going to create a match. All four of us are going to get the Sentry Paragon. We're going to just beat hard together on monkey lane all right that's all we're gonna do come on in guys be 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 kind rewind and play with me though i am starting to get a sore throat so <clears throat> um bear with me i was yelling too much hey kale thank you so much man <clears throat> All right. Uh, I got the crappiest spot. <laughs> All right, let's just go, man. Let's just go. I'm not even going to use my free dart monkey. I think I'm just going to do a farm start from the get-go. 
I guess the best thing that I can do. They buffed the engineer pretty hard. Um, our goal, by the way, guys, if uh, you guys want to work together with me, is to farm a little bit. we got to get some money flowing in here so that we can eventually get our um, uh, Sentry Paragons going. And I'm hoping for four Sentry Paragons on the screen at the same time. That would be cool, would it not? Um, but before we get there, I've got to farm a little bit, so... Um, if you guys want to... Give me all your money! Oh, he stole the farm. He got the farm. <laughs> Nobody wants to give you their money. I promise I'll give you your money back in a little bit. Alright, I won't just steal it all. Oh, thank you! Oh, so nice! So who gave it to me? Player 3 and 4? Alright, player 3 and 4. Oh, player 4, how'd you get money, man? Must not have got enough. Alright. But we got a farm going. That feels good. We're going to give it back to player three a little bit. He's got nothing on the screen right now. Everett, you can have it. Oh, Walrus guy gave me a little bit, but he's greedy. He doesn't want to give me all of his money. He's just like, oh, I'm just going to give you a little bit of money, Chris. That's all you get. That's all you deserve in life. And I'm like, yeah, it's kind of true, man. So, yeah, we're going to get four Sentry Paragons at the same time. Decimator! There we use! Look at the sloth. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, Walrus guy. It's all good. It's all good, man. Don't cry on me now. Um, so, uh, I don't know what your guys' plans are, but for now, we're doing really well. Um, I think, again, don't forget, guys, We all of our money is basically going to have to be banana farms at this point. So, um, here, let's give uh, let's let player two get a banana farm first. Then we'll let uh, player three get a banana farm. We can all farm together, all right? I'm sorry if I missed any uh, donations. Oh, yeah, did you donate on Twitch? I've been bad. I've been bad about Twitch, man. I'm sorry. Um, I know. I suck. I don't have the Twitch chat open, and I didn't have my OBS open at the time when I was playing um, on whatchamacallit. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I suck. Well, you know what? How about this? Decimator! Yeah! Decimator! Oh, my God! Decimator! There we go. All right, I gave you the five, the f five jive decimators right there. All right. Oh, but thank you, dude. I, yeah, I, I can't say thank you enough, man. I, you guys are so, so kind to me. Um, you guys know that I, I don't believe in myself. Uh, I'm not like uh, one of those people that like. I've seen some people out there that legit like. They think that they're owed your donations. You know, they're like, why, why didn't you donate to me yet? You know, like, what's wrong with you guys? You guys are terrible people. Like, donate to me right now. Um, you know? And, like, I'll be honest. I, don't, I really don't think that I, I deserve any any donations. So any anything that I get, even if it's a dollar, like, is just crazy. Like, uh, but, but you know, it's... Oh, here we go. We got to give... Uh, player 2 has got to get that uh, farm money. And player three, what'd you do with your money, man? I gave you a bunch of money. Where's that farm money at? We're gonna get farm. Oh, he's got Benji. Okay, he's got Benjamin. Super Jam Bambi. So yeah, I, I really don't feel like I deserve them. Maybe it's just that I I I look down upon myself a little bit or something. I don't know. But uh, just being straight with you guys, I don't think I deserve them. And whenever I do get them, it's like it, it's it's like the greatest feeling in the world because not only I, are you guys obviously supporting my dream of being a YouTuber, which I never thought was going to be possible and is actually happening at the moment? Um, uh, it's also just makes me feel good awesome. that, like, somebody cares about me enough to want to support me like that, you know? Oh, crap! I got nothing, guys. I got nothing. Um, give me $2. Give me $2. Oh, somebody did it ahead of time. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Holy crap, that was tough. That was tough. Check my DMs. All right, guys. We got crap tons of money going on right now. We need more, though. We're already around 32, boys. All right, screw this guy. We don't need him anymore. We're going to go for more banana farms. We got two Benjamins on the screen, so we are farming a lot. 
Uh oh, camera detection. All right, I got it. I got it this time, guys. I'll hook you guys up. <gasps> Reconnecting. I got it. I haven't been helpful this game, so I'm gonna do a little bit. I'm gonna do my part. All right. Can you do my part. I've got this guy. Kale, baby, you deserve all the donations. Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you. Like I said, I. It 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 really does mean a lot to me. So thank you. Oh boy, do I got a surprise coming up for you, man. Somebody just asked, can you do eight crossbow masters? Let's just say that that might be on the chopping block soon. Might be, might be, should be, could be. Um, yes, and then also, not gonna miss it this time. Seafram, baby! The Dono Trains, we're getting them started up in here, man. Thank you, Kale, and thank you, Seafram. Give me two dollars times two! Okay, sheesh, oh my god. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. Ride that donation train. We're gonna ride it on up into Cool Town up in here. All right, so we got to get our engineer up in here. Um, I'm just gonna throw mine right here. It doesn't really matter if they're next to each other. We just need some pop and power right now. Um, let me get faster engineering here. Ooh, camera protection. Need more of that action. Man, you guys are really making me work today. Last time I just like, I just like uh, sat there and oh crap, we need lead pop and power. Is this guy? Century expert, player three. Century expert, player three. Get the century expert now. Stat. He doesn't have the money for it. That's okay. That's okay. We're getting a little bit laggy today. Yeah, <laughs> farms don't attack, right? Whoops! Alright, he's got a heli over here. That's pretty good. Um, we want... Uh, here we go. Sentry Expert's in play. Let's get... Uh, he's got quad darts over there for player four. Alright, I'm just going to upgrade my ninja here. I think with that, we should be good. A double shot. I think Caltrops will really help us out here against this Moab. But I think we should be good. We got a bunch of sentry guns all over the place. We got random crap kind of all over the place. A nice cannon there, interesting. And then Benjamin just coming up and cleaning them all up. Nice. Uh, this will be the last co-op game of the day, my friends. I know, it sucks, doesn't it? But my throat's starting to hurt. Uh, so I, I don't know if you guys remember or not, but I was sick about, you know, two or three weeks ago. Um, it's still like sort of there. But now Amanda's sick. And then now it's got me sick again, okay. I think. So, like, it's just been a sick festival. Sick, sick, sick festival. All over the place. Alright, so, uh, we're making lots of money right now. Realistically, Centric Paragons aren't even that expensive. I think that's the crazy part about this, guys. But I'm still gonna farm for the rest of the team as well. Not everybody's farming right now, and they've given me money to start off with, so, uh, let's make it all happen here. I mean, I talked about this earlier, but I don't really like to talk about negativity on my channel. Um, I don't like talking about negativity in real life, either. Uh, there's only so much negativity that can happen in the world, you know? Um, and I think a lot of people will look at it and say it's a tragedy that, you know, Kobe died, but there's, there's like, you know, a thousand other people that probably, you know, died in very tragic ways that same day. And I can't feel sorry for all of them, you know? I didn't know him personally. I think it's it's obviously really upsetting that, that anybody could just randomly die in a tragic accident, but that's what it is. It's tragic, and it's not fun to think about. So I'd rather just kind of move on in my life, I guess. I don't know. Is that a bad thing to think about? I don't know. Uh, that's just the way I like to do it, though. Um, if, it, if it was somebody that was actually very, very close to me. I mean, I get it. That's why sometimes some people, like, you know, if I died, um, what would people you know, think, I guess, would, uh, would people be really, really sad? And I think that, uh, you know, I would hope that you guys are, are the least sad you possibly can be. Um, you know, I, I, I hope that you could just say, wow, that really sucks. And hopefully move on with your life, you know? Um, I don't want you guys to be sad, sad for me for, you know, months or years or something like that. It's obviously much more difficult to get over if it's, like, a close family member. And, like, that's how sometimes I feel with you guys. Like, I really think you guys, a lot of you guys are my friends. Um, like, you got, I don't have very many friends in real life, so, like, you guys are the closest thing that I have to friends, you know? Um, talking to you guys, hanging out with you guys and all that stuff. Not every single connection that I have with you guys is, like, super personal and stuff like that. But I tell you guys all my intimate details about my life. Everything that's been going on with me. Like, all the, the things that I don't even, like, tell my family or my real friends sometimes. That I'm just, like, I feel open with you guys, you know? So, like, 
I don't know. I, I I guess that's just like the realist aspect of me. I try to be as real as possible can with you guys. Um, I don't like to lie to you guys. I don't like to be um, a jerk uh, to you guys. I know that some people use their, their YouTube fame just to like 100% profit. They don't care about anybody, but like I really do care. Um, maybe that, but there's, I'm not saying nobody cares, but there's I think there's a lot of people out there that probably just don't really uh, feel the same way as me, I guess. They're just like sort of like, you know, they use YouTube for um, to make money. You know, I think there's a lot of YouTubers out there that started because they wanted to make money and still do it today because they want to make money. Um, I. Oh, crap. We need more camera detection, boys. There we go. Looks like we're going to barely take him down, but we do. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, that's just, that's just how I am. So. Uh, I've actually, I've never even actually even uh, played Roblox card events. Is that is that a thing? I've heard about Roblox. Is is that the same thing? Is Roblox and Roblox card card events the same thing, or are they like two different games or something like that? I've heard a lot about it. I have so many people have asked me if I played Roblox. I don't even know what it is. Uh, straight up. So yeah, round sixty-three. Thanks for the reminder, man. We're gonna have to deal with round sixty-three here, boys. So I'm thinking. I think I'm just gonna go for a, a straight. A straight answer here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for a cannon. My position just sucks. I don't know if I can reach over to the other side there. Extra range. Frag bombs. This is just terrible. All right, we're gonna do that. We're gonna go for a quick uh, village here. I'm gonna get primary training on this guy. All right, I know it's stupid, but I'm gonna do it. We're actually gonna get rid of this village. The primary training on this guy. We're gonna have him reach over to the other side. It's gonna also increase the jungle drums for the other towers, so I think that's gonna work out well for us. I think this is gonna give us what we need here. This extra range. I can alchemize this guy with some extra stronger stim action, hopefully. And we're gonna be doing good. This guy, Sprockets, Sentry Expert, Oversized Nails, Pin! Don't forget about the pin, guys. It's gonna help us out a lot for round 63 here. Here it is, boys! Here it is! And the cannon doesn't reach, of course. But it doesn't matter. Looks like Sentry Expert coming in like a boss. We need more camera detection. Alchemist! Well, I got the alchemist to give the ninja more camera detection, so that made sense to me, okay? In my in my little pea brain over here, it made sense. Alright, guys, I'm gonna save up for it. I'm gonna get the sentry paragon. Somebody gave me a bunch of money, but I don't know who gave it to me. Oh, they both want money. Here, you guys can have some money. Alright, have some money, guys. I'll share the love with everybody. Just take... Everybody can have their money, alright? Take all my money. Here you go. There's all my money for you guys. There you go. I've got nothing left. I'm, I'm in the poorhouse right now. Sitting here like a sad, sad person. Did I miss a donation? I did! Rob Dog, baby! Rob Dog 69, them New Zealand coins right there. Don't forget about me. I'll never forget about you, dude. Alright. I won't forget about you. At least I'll try not to. Alright. What's going on now? Alright, guys. I got a crazy idea. Give me all your money. All your money. I need it all right now. Request all the freaking money. Every dollar you guys have needs to be in my pocket. Sell all your farms. You guys won't need them after this play gets played. All right. All the farms. Oh, I thought they did. I thought I was like, no way. They sold them all at the same time. Oh, my God. All the money. Oh, yeah. All right. Boom. Here he is. Sentry there he is! Alright, I was just joking. I don't sell your farms. <laughs> no, they never sell them their farms. Oh my god! Alright! I guess we're doing it, boys! Let's get everybody their Sentry Paragon. Let's go! Get it going in here. We got... Here's the third one. Alright, man. I'm down. Alright, who needs money? Who needs the Sentry Paragon? Player 3. Is that Player 3? Oh, Player 3's got the Paragon. Oh no, he doesn't. He's close. He's close. Here we go. Player 3. Get your Paragon going. There it is. Um, and then uh, you guys can uh, can uh, you know get your Paragons going soon after that too. And then I guess player uh, two is gonna have to. Oh my God! He just collected sixty thousand dollars. Spread the love. Oh my God! He's spreading the love, Walrus guy. Thank you so much, Walrus. Oh, I gave him his money back. I didn't mean to do that. All right, let's give it to Reese. Ooh, 
Oh, Decimator. Thank you, man. Decimator, you're not Walrus guy, are you? Did you make it in? Well, Decimator, as usual, man. Thank you so, so much. Kind words from a kind man. Alright, where are we at now? We've got three Sentry Paragons right now. Four Sentry Paragons. Oh, baby. Alright, screw that, screw that, screw that, screw that, screw that. We don't need any of that garbage. Just get out of it. We don't need an alpha list. It's gone. Alright. Now, what we need to do is we need to pop this village in here. Whoop. There he is. Alright, we're gonna go for a nice one, two, three, four. We're gonna need that extra village range up in here, so we're gonna get a double village combo. Watch this. You guys have never seen this before. This village is gonna power up this village, which gives him more range, which allows him to get the other things in range here. <laughs> Alright. Alright. If... What are we gonna do here now? Do we overclock him now? What do we do? Should we start getting some overclock action going? Maybe we should. Maybe we shouldn't. Watch this. Whoop! There it is. Speed it up! Now they're going to start building sentries like mad cakes. Not pancakes, mad cakes. Double village combo. You guys ever do that action? Here we go. Is it in range? It is. It already was in range. I wasted money. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, man. Got a few more rounds to go here. We're in round 78 already. We could push it past. I think we're going to go all the way up to round 100, I think. I think if we can. What do you guys think? So, oh, camo balloons. Luckily, we got it covered here with our call to arms. A Moab Papa. A homeland defense. I mean, that sounds like a fun time. I would take a home. I think. I think I'm. I think we're. Yeah, give me all your money. But I'm going to do something different with it. All the money. 30,000. Oh, no, he needs to wait. He needs to wait. These banana farms are building. They're building the money up. <laughs> uh, ooh, I like that those guys explode at the end. That's kind of fun. Let's see what we can do here. Ooh, I need another $2,000. We're going to go for a fourth-tier farm here. Uh, make some extra cash flow. It's sad how hard money is to get, isn't it? Hmm. <gasps> Yay! So let's see what we are. I am the head detective. All right, at least I'm something today. I pop camo balloons. That's what I do. Walrus guy. Monkey financer. Okay, financier. Sorry, have to get fancy with it. Fired up. Ceramic balloon popper. Reese, sorry, man, you're nothing. Garbage, dude. They don't think you're anything here. No. All right, let's go. Nobody else pressed free play. Or am I the host? Do I have to press free play? I guess that's a good question. I never, I never actually do that. All right, we're going. Uh, we're gonna try to make it around 100 here. But I think I'm, I don't think I'm gonna go any further than that. I think round 100 is a good round for us to make it to. See, us four Century Paragons really are the base that we want them to be. But I am looking forward to possibly overclocking these guys. So I think if we get that many Paragons kind of all over the screen here, it's going to be pretty freaking sweet. All right, what I'm going to do here is since there's not that much going on for BTB6, we're going to go into uh, controver controversial Chris mode for this last 15 minutes here. If you guys have any questions for me, <gasps> with all this money we just got, holy crap, thank you. I'm going to greet it out for a few rounds here before I get my overclock, maybe overcharge. I don't know. We'll see. I might overcharge. I got 20, 60, 60k. Yeah, I need a little bit more money before I do it. Because um, nobody really has any money right now. So, 
I made them sell their farms. I feel bad. I feel so bad. I'm a terrible person. But, um... <clears throat> would I smoke weed? So I don't think I would ever smoke weed. Um, I, first of all, I should mention that I've never done any drugs my entire life. Um, I don't take cold medicine, ibuprofen, Tylenol, anything. I, I never take anything. Legit. No joke. No heroin, no cocaine, none of that nonsense, but even going down to the bottom stuff, I don't take, uh, I, I don't not take antibiotics, uh, but I don't go to the doctor to get antibiotics unless I have, like, a surgery or something like that. Um, so, uh, last time I took antibiotics was when I got my wisdom teeth out, and, uh, another time when I got my thumb, uh, surgery on my thumb. Only two times I've ever gotten, uh, uh, antibiotics in my life, but, like, that's... That's it. That's all I do, man. I mean, I no no drugs for me. I mean, I I still do like certain things. Like some people say, oh, well, caffeine is a drug. It's like, no, not really. It's a chemical. That some people say it's a drug because it affects your brain. I think that's completely different. Um, you could say the same thing. Sugar's a, a sugar's a drug because it gives you energy. It's like what? Oh yeah. He, oh no no. Screw you. I'm taking my money and I'm running with it, man. We're going with this super overclocked. Michael, engineer right here. Oh, I don't have enough money. Oh, I need five more thousand dollars. Oh, man, now I gotta request the money. <laughs> so, I don't, I don't do it for, like, any real reasons. Um, but, like... I don't know. I think that the, the just the term of, of, of a caffeine being a drug is just kind of weird. I think it could be abused as a drug, I guess. Like, if you take straight caffeine pills or something like that, sure. But, uh, or, or whatever, but it does affect you and all that stuff, but I wouldn't call it a drug, you know? Whoa, 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 where are we getting all this money from, guys? Holy crap, we're gonna go quadra, uh, overclocking nonsense up in here? Alright, I'm down. Thank you guys for the help here. Thank you guys so much. This is awesome. This is awesome. We're going to start spamming these guys. Like, real, real hot. Like, Uh-oh. Getting a little laggy. But anyways. um, uh, uh, Weed is now officially legal in Chicago. So, um, look, I guess the question is, is would you do it? Uh, and I, I got to say, I don't think that I would, but I wouldn't say that I I won't ever. Um, I don't know. I guess I'm just a little curious. You know, I'm willing to try almost anything once. So, that's kind of my thought process on it, I guess. But anyways, um, I don't think I would ever smoke it. If I did, I would probably like eat it. You know, that kind of thing. Probably like it. That would question most of you. Do you want to smoke weed? No, I probably wouldn't smoke it. I probably would eat it. Uh, just to kind of see what it's like. Uh, there's a lot of weird things about drugs, though. Like, I've, I've actually heard, um, uh, so I don't really know how much I believe this, but I would love to, like, get more research out there. I love the science of weird things about our bodies that we just don't understand yet. Um, for example, one of the things that I thought was really, really cool was, uh, uh, they were talking about microdosing uh, magic mushrooms. Now, when you eat a magic mushroom, all right, or you take uh, a drug like magic mushrooms, um, or you take, you, you know, you eat the active ingredient in magic mushrooms. Let's just talk about the magic, the, the ingredient in itself. Um, holy crap, dude, we're gonna freaking lose! Oh my god, we almost lost here with four overclocked super century paragons? These things still suck. What the heck, man? I mean, usually, like, I'm like, oh my god. These things are are, are, are unbelievable. But, like, wow, these things are not that good. We're almost going to lose that round 100 here. But not quite. It does look cool, I gotta say that, man. It looks beautiful. Alright, like, that is a wonderful picture. A beautiful sight to see.
There we go. It's the Magoo. I guess we're going 100 plus because we're probably going to die soon. Anyways, continuing on with my story. So, um, in the active ingredient in, like, in, like, magic mushrooms, uh, to get you high, uh, you know, normally you'd have to take something like 20, I, I don't know, uh, I, I'm not even sure if I'm using the right numbers here, I'm not sure if it's in, uh, micrograms or milligrams, I think it's milligrams though, I don't think it's micrograms, um, but it could be micrograms, that's like how powerful some of this stuff is, but, you take like 10, 25 milligrams to get yourself like super high, right, where it's like, you feel it like, hardcore all the time. It's crazy. Um, uh, you, you know, you hallucinate and like things go wild and like sometimes it changes people though. That's kind of the crazy part. But there's some research, even from people who are not necessarily doing scientific research, but doing kind of like research on themselves or just talking to people, comparing uh, as a whole. Oh crap. Couldn't find my mouse. Couldn't find my mouse, bro. Alright, anyways, um... And they kind of talk amongst, these amongst their themselves, and they, uh, they were saying that, yeah, getting yourself high and stuff like that, it might change you, like, who, who you are, but it doesn't really affect that much about you. But getting more into, like, research clinically, uh, they're talking about doing microdosing with, with, uh, with mushrooms. And when you microdose, where you literally take a dose that you can't even feel, all right, like it doesn't get you high, it just goes inside of you, kind of like, I guess, uh, taking a vitamin or something like that, where you don't feel it, doesn't change anything about you, but it may end up actually, uh, like helping your brain, like be more creative, um, be more fluid. Um, be more normal, um, not even have, uh, brain disorders and stuff like that that, like, sometimes happen. I thought that was really interesting. And I'm not, I'm not advocating for you to just start eating magic mushrooms all the place or microdosing. Uh, I'm just saying that it's, it's interesting to think about all the things that we don't know about, about the human brain, and how it might affect people positively that we just don't understand yet. Um, one of the biggest things was that, uh, that they're saying that they're finally starting to do big, real studies in, like, real places real colleges with real doctors doing real research on mushrooms about the positive effects. And I thought that was just so cool because I think that's one of the biggest next things. Let's make some noise. It's going to be like uh, mushrooms. I'm a big fan of biology, obviously. And one of the things that I was almost going to get into was being a mushroom biologist. Um, I thought that there probably wouldn't be enough stuff for me to do uh, to get a job on being a, a mushroom biologist. But maybe I was wrong. Um, maybe I should have gotten my degree in mushroom biology, uh, what was it called, uh, mycologist? So, I think that, um, the way, the, from what I heard, was that not, that you don't do it every day. You, you would take the mushrooms, like, two or three times a week, um, but there's, like, varied results with different stuff. Like, certain people have better results at five times a week, certain people have better results at, like, three times a week. But, like, taking it too much might have been not beneficial or not do anything extra and taking too little might not have had a better effect but again it's not really like research at this point it's more just like people coming together and talking about what they do and if they have positive effects because of it um which i find to be fairly entertaining but yeah i mean that's if you're going to be controversial about it that's like one thing that i think is kind of fun and interesting to think about that's still controversial if you guys haven't noticed, I've been overclocking or overcharging some of my engineers right now. I'm kind of just going around all, all around the sides here. But yeah. I've been a YouTuber for like 10 years, so I've been here for a long time. Long, long time. Alright, still overcharging. But uh, feel free, if you guys want to ask me some more questions, I'm down to listen to them. Who wants money? Everett Edgar wants all the money. All right, man. Here you go. You can take all the money. My real name is Crow. Oh, there it is. Oh, man. And there it goes, guys. There it goes. 
By the way, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please, please press that button. I know there's a lot of you guys out there that watch that don't, um, don't hit that little subscribe button. It matters a lot to me. We're almost to 500k. Please press that button if you haven't. I try to do some fun stuff. Oh. Interesting. I try to do a bunch of fun stuff for you guys. I try to be entertaining. I try to be the best that I can be. I try to be the most real that I can be. And uh, hopefully you guys appreciate that. So if you guys want to press subscribe for me, that'd be wonderful. Also, liking my videos makes me happy as a person. So if you ever want to be nice to me, press that like button. It's always been something about me that's been sort of goofy. I always just really like seeing a lot of likes on my videos. Before, I even used to ask for likes. Like, back in the day when YouTube first started, like, I just assumed that if people liked my videos, they would press the like button. I didn't ask. And I just felt really happy when I would see those 30 likes, those 40 likes, or those 50 likes, and be like, oh my god, this is awesome. Like, 50 people like my freaking video. And nowadays, it's like getting up to 500, 700, even 1,000 plus likes. That's, that's insane. So thank you guys for all, all for doing that. Um, big shout out to CFRAM again. The Omega Snunk crew, I know, man. I know, right? And big shout out to Reese, too. GG. Um, sadly, my throat's starting to hurt pretty bad, man. We've been live for like almost two hours now, so oh, I think I'm going to call it. Yeah. Um, if you have any. Uh, so, you really wish the 50 people watched your videos. First of all. Um, keep at it. That's the main thing you can do. Keep at it. Keep trying to strive for better videos. Eventually, you're going to get better and better and better. And eventually, you're going to post awesome stuff, you know? <laughs> Students in school, when are we going to learn about mushrooms? Make me better in BCD Micro? I mean, it might. That's the interesting thing. I guess I don't know, but uh, I'm, I'm not microdosing with mushrooms. I should mention that. Um, I am more uh, the theory aspect of how different chemicals can kind of mess with your body and possibly mess with it in a positive way. But I'm more of like a uh, the sub in the corner. I don't know. I don't know. You know, I'll give you guys like five minutes if you guys want five minutes because my throat's starting to hurt. But like, if you guys have any interesting questions, I'm good to go for it. All right. When do you think you'll go back to school? I mentioned it a while back. At the moment, I have no plans. Um, there was a, a possible, for a smidge of time, there was a possibility that I might move to Texas. And if I was going to move to Texas, I might have gone to school while in Texas because I would have lived right next to a school that had a degree that I wanted to get. And at the moment, um, that's kind of gotten, that's kind of stopped from happening and I could go to school here but it's more of like an afterthought I don't know um I just don't know I just don't know the answer to that I guess I would like to go back to school to have like a nice backup just in case YouTube fails or something like that but also school is very very expensive you know um is it worth it? Like, I gotta, I gotta think about myself monetarily. Like, you know, I, spending fifty freaking thousand dollars to go back to school, or sixty or seventy thousand dollars to go back to school, is not something that I just want to do lightly. You know, like that's a lot of freaking money. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna, you know, be spending, you know, the next ten years paying that money off. You know, so like. Is it worth it? I don't know. I would like to. I always love learning. I always love uh, being smarter. And then, of course, sharing my knowledge with, with the rest of the people, you know? But, uh... <clears throat> well, I'm sorry that I did that, Adam. Thank you for the donation. All right. And also, Decimator, thank you for the, the throat help. <laughs> I want it to help more than it is, but no, it's not, it's not doing that good right now. So I, I already have a bachelor's degree. I have a degree in, uh, I just have my bachelor's in science, but really I had to focus on biology. Um, so I could do like, uh, uh, you know, um, 
I if I did go back to school, I don't think I would want it to, to take like, uh, you know, I would go back to get my master's degree. I don't think I would want it to take four or five years um, going back part time. I'd rather go back full time and try to do YouTube on the side still, and and hope that it won't be that bad. But same time, it's like it's just so much work, you know. Um, I feel like my main issue is that uh, either YouTube would suffer or my grades would suffer. It'd be difficult to do both at the same time. So um, it's a tough one, you know. <clears throat> school yeah i i think that for most people especially if you're going to if you're just about to start school or something like that you need to make it your priority um one thing that i didn't do that i actually regret is that i worked very 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 hard um throughout school to try to like pay some of the money back and I felt like it actually wasn't worth it, if that makes any sense. For example, it cost me about $25,000 a year to go to school for my last two years. And it cost me about $10,000 a year for my first two years. So, like, it was about $70,000 total or so. Um, and I did everything on the absolute cheapest, cheapity, cheap way that I could possibly do it. Um, I lived at home for my first two years. I, d I got as many books as I could. Um, uh, like, either not get, I just didn't get the books at all. Or I bought the, like, very cheap amazon -y online version for, like, way cheaper price. Uh, <clears throat> and when it came to the dorms at my, uh, at ISU, I bought the cheapest dorm that you could get into at the time. Um, like, there was dorms that cost, like, four or five grand a semester. I got the one that cost, like, two grand. It was actually so bad that they literally closed the place down the year after I was done. So the place doesn't even, isn't even livable anymore. Um, so that was kind of crazy. But even after that, even after that, like I worked the entire time that I was in college. You know, I worked uh, at the garden center for, you know, the entire time, trying to earn as much money as I possibly, as I possibly could, working on my breaks, working on the weekends, driving home to work, and like doing all these things. And like I saw all of my friends just like not giving a care about money at all and i was jealous i remember when i had in my bank account uh my lowest point was when i i'm lucky i've never gone negative in my bank account all right i've been very very lucky to say that but i remember when i was down to like 60 dollars in my bank account and i needed to buy gas to get home and i had a credit card bill coming up and i needed to like it was like right at the end of the semester which was lucky but it was like you know, it was just, it was so tough, you know? And one thing that I wish I did, I just wish I got more loans to help me pay for stuff and kind of just had fun in college. And then when I was done, be like, now I'll pay it back. But throughout college, my entire time, I was worrying about making money, worrying about going to school, having a job, doing YouTube stuff. I did all three of those things and it just took up all my freaking time, you know? So I don't know. Homestead videos is kind of fun. I, I do think there is a weird homestead movement, though. Isn't that true? Um, I, I It's fun to garden, you know? And I've got, like, a slight advantage on people. I, I, I kind of understand plants pretty well and from a degree in biology. And I worked at a garden center for, like, 10 years. So I have a pretty good idea about plants and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, it's absolutely true. I and mean, the government just hands out. If anybody wants to go to school, they're just like, here. Take the money. And then colleges are like, well, now everybody gets to go to school. Why? You know, now they can be more particular about which students they take and just take the most expensive students. I've even seen that colleges will purposely take people from out of state so they can get out of state tuition or even out of country so they can get out of country tuition, uh, which is even higher. Uh, yeah, I know. It's crazy, right? You have people coming from, from China and stuff like that to get uh, or India or whatever to get degrees. And, uh, you know, and then they make a crap ton of money off of them. Um, they, like, specifically pick them people, too. So, I don't know. It sucks to talk about money, but the best PC I ever built is actually my buddy right here. This is my, my beast right here. 
<laughs> All right. All right, Jonathan. Thank you so much, man. He says five dollars. 0% interest loan to be paid back in twenty nine ninety nine. Now, what would be sad is, uh, what would be a 1%, even just a 1% interest loan on, on that would be probably a ridiculous amount of money in 3000 Oh my god. Well, thank you, dude. I can never say thank you enough to Jonathan. He's uh, probably one of my top supporters of all time. Um, not with just, you know, money, but but not with donations but with like actual support and and bringing happiness generally to the room which is awesome so uh thank you jonathan i can never say thank you enough but it's it does suck because uh on one side you don't want anybody to be uh not able to go to college because they don't have money but on the other side because everybody can go to college colleges can raise the prices you know it's like supply and demand huge supply for college demand goes up or no not huge supply huge demand for college uh supply stays the same well some, something's wrong here you know they raise the freaking prices and then uh usually that means that demand goes down but in this scenario demand really isn't going down necessarily because everybody's just like i'm just going to take the money anyways and go into a hundred thousand dollars in debt um i know that i can tell you right now that uh I know plenty of people that are in, um, like, not just tens of thousands of dollars in debt, but up to hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt, which is insane. Starting off your life in, in tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt, is just ridiculous. You know, and it's like, it's making 18-year-old kids decide that you're going to go into this debt, you know, that you can never get out of. It's like indentured servitude almost. It's wild. Um, but it is true. I, I, I think some people, they say that uh, uh, college is not necessary in life. And that it's op obviously optional. And you don't have to go into debt for this college because you don't have to go to college. That's like... 5% true. Um, you can go into a trade or something like that, which is fine. But if you don't have some sort of degree, like even like sometimes going and working in like regular old jobs, they like want you to have a degree. Just to say like, boom, you have a bachelor's degree. Like they don't even care what it's in. It's like, ah, oh, you just you have a degree now. You have the ability to learn. Like we like that. It's wild. But yeah, when you have like a, a an 18 year old kid signing his life away, it's it's wild. I can tell you right now that I knew a lot of kids that, like, I went to a pretty good school district in uh, high school. And then I had a lot of kids that their parents literally bought them a car when they turned 16. Like, some kids would get, like, a somewhat older car, you know, maybe a 5-year-old car, maybe a 10-year-old car, or something like that. Um, I knew some kids, though, that got just straight-up brand-new cars, like... You know, in the year 2009, they would get a year 2009 car um, for free from their parents. Just like, boop, here you go. You turn 16. Happy 16th birthday. Uh, I was never that lucky. I never got a car bought for me. Um, I never got just about anything bought for me. In fact, right when I turned 16, uh, in fact, right when I was 15, I got a job. Uh, I had my mom drive me to work every day until I turned 16 and once I get turned 16 I started driving myself to work with the car that I bought from my brother but I did get on the cheap end which was kind of nice I kind of almost like screwed him over I guess uh, it was like less than a thousand dollars but the car was also old at that point it was like 15 years old so it wasn't like a crazy cheap story or anything like that but um uh I had to pay for my gas I had to pay for my insurance I had to pay for anything else that I wanted to do in life. Uh, and I barely had any money. It, it sucked, like, right away. Like, even just having a car was so expensive. Uh, paying off my insurance and paying off gas basically was all I made for my job, you know? It was kind of wild to think about. And it was, of course, crazy because right at that point, that's when gas prices were four fifty a gallon. Chicka chicka, what? You kidding me? Yeah, that's how it worked, man. 
Chris just got screwed over. Well, not just Chris, but a lot of people just got screwed over right at the exact same time in all these different ways. My parents just assumed it's easy to pay for college and to pay for your car and to pay for gas and to pay for your insurance while going to school at, 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 you know, at 18 years old. And it's just not easy to do. I worked so, so hard for so, so long and I felt like it just didn't do anything. I was moving nowhere. The only way that I made anything for me is I started working both a, uh, my real job and doing YouTube at the same time. Started making some money from YouTube, and that's how I made it. Oh, no, no, four fifty a gallon, dude? That was legit. I remember seeing that. Uh, I And not just for, like, a month. That was, like, just the way it was for, like, years. Um, I think four fifty was probably the worst it was. But generally, over three fifty was normal. $4 was like, okay, it's a little on the high end right now. Um, no joke. That was when we were in, like, the, the big Iraq war and all that stuff. Oh, crap. Yeah. That sucked. Gas was just ridiculously expensive. And that's, of course, like, without, um, you know, um, yeah, I mean, gas is, like, $2 a gallon now. Around me, at least. It's, like, less than half the price. But, like, back then, oh, my God, it was terrible. And I was making, <laughs> I was actually making 50 cents under minimum wage at that time because I was less than 18 years old. So I think I, I think I started off at, like, $6 an hour, something like that. My car insurance actually isn't that expensive right now. Um, I've never been in an accident before, and I drive a almost 15 year old car so and I don't have collision insurance on it anymore so if it if it gets hit I I don't get any money if I if I hit somebody I don't get any money for my car but mine is like 250 or 300 dollars for six months it's like 50 60 dollars a month Absolutely, but I, you know, I, I guess I'm just a little bit jealous, maybe, of I just saw all my friends having so much fun in college, going out and, like, going, like, I mean, bars weren't that expensive, but, like, they were going out to bars, going out to eat all the time, and, like, doing all this kind of crazy stuff that, like, I was like, dude, how do you afford that? I, I don't have any money, you know? Like, I, I go to Aldi, which was the cheapest place to get stuff, and I'd buy, like, a five-pound thing of ground beef, uh, beans and rice, and these uh, really cheap... Uh, you can get an 8-pack of hot dogs for 75 cents, and the buns were like 75 cents. So you can get literally 8 hot dogs for $1.50, which is pretty awesome at the time, man, not gonna say. If I do say so myself. So I got to eat 8 hot dogs, but I usually ate like 2 to 3 hot dogs a meal. Um, which isn't good for you, by the way. But I mean, I could get like 2 and a half, three 3 meals out of $1.50 for my hot dogs. Like, that was a good deal right there, dude. That was solid. Um... But yeah, I didn't actually do that much of ramen. Uh, I didn't really like ramen that much. That's that's. I did some here and there if I was like really struggling. But like, ramen not too bad. Eggs were not too bad either. I did some eggs here and there. Um, I don't even remember that much what I ate in college. I didn't. I didn't eat healthy. I ate a lot of like uh, big batches of stuff. So I'd make tacos a lot. I'd make chili a lot. I'd make a lot of, like, big batches of stuff for, like, just cheapo chicken, cheapo ground beef, and mix it into something that tasted good. Oh, yeah. I know that that... I know. I definitely did not eat, eat healthy in college. I think... I don't think I bought fruit. You know, and, like, this is where, like, you know which is wrong. I didn't buy bananas. I didn't buy apples. I didn't buy. I didn't eat a single freaking fruit in college, unless I went home. You know, um, vegetables. I don't know how many vegetables I ate, but it wasn't that much. I can tell you that right now. It was not that much. <laughs> Holy crap! You like Atlas? What's my phone number? I don't think I'm gonna give that out today. I wish, though. I should have eaten more vegetables. I should have eaten more fruit, and I would have. I don't mind vegetables and, and fruit, but vegetables aren't that expensive, so I should have probably eaten more vegetables. Um, I ate corn a little bit. I ate a little bit of broccoli, so, like, I ate some vegetables here and there, but, like, it wasn't a staple of my diet. But fruit, I mean, that's just, like, fruit's healthy. You know, bananas are good, obviously. 
apples and th those are the cheap fruit too and they're still expensive yes okay you see the notification you want to complete a race in under 10 minutes Woo! we did it boys we did it win 100 games using a skin of any hero we're almost there all right guys it's time it's time to say goodbye we've been here for over two hours Peace out, boys. Peace out, rock on. See if you guys could do this. Try it for yourself. Have a fun weekend. Well, have a fun week, I guess. The weekend's almost over. Have a fun week. And I will see you guys on the flip side. Alright, I'll see you guys... Um, next week. By the way, last thing for you hardcore people who are still magically here. I doubt there's very many of you left. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, 98 of you guys. Holy crap. We really sunk here. Last thing is I've got a animation coming out pretty soon. Um, this guy made it for me, and I... It's the weirdest thing ever. It's hard to explain exactly what's going on. But he made me an animation. I asked him to make it for me starting in 2016. And I told him I wanted 45 seconds of an animation of two monkeys fighting. And he kept updating me. And I thought he was just blowing me off for the longest time. It's like, yeah, yeah, it's almost done. It's almost done. 2017 roll around. Yeah, yeah, it's almost it's almost done. It's almost done. 2018 roll around. Yeah, 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 it's almost done, dude. I, I, I'm going to get it for you real soon. And then I swear, out of nowhere, he just came up and he's like, Chris, it's freaking done, dude. It's freaking done. 2020. Four years later, this 45-second animation that I asked him for is done. He made it a 12-minute long or 11-minute long animation. I don't love it. But I can tell how much effort and how much work he put into it. And I'm like, wow, dude. Like, I feel bad, you know? I feel a little bit bad. So, like, it's pr it's not bad. I, I, I can't say that. I can't say that enough. I can't stress it enough. It's not bad. It's just not really what I was asking for, I guess, from the first place. And now he thinks it's a huge deal because he spent so much time on it, right? I'm like, for me, I'm literally pressing the upload button and then it's done. Like, I'm done with it. But, uh... But, here you go, man. I got you covered. But, uh, I don't know. I'm just, I guess I'm just a little bit confused. Like, I don't know what people are going to think about it. So, if you guys just want to press like for me on it, like, that would be wonderful. Don't hate on it. Um, I know that just coming from me, you might not hate on it in the first place. But just, like, press like not because of me, but because I'm going to feel bad if this guy, like, gets sad that nobody likes his animation. And I don't know if people are going to like it or not, but I have a feeling that people are probably just not going to... They're going to start watching it for like a minute and just turn off. You know? I think that's what's going to happen. Uh, I think it's going to come out on Friday. So, like five days away. So it's coming up soon. Anyways, boom. I'm heading out, guys. Thank you all so, so much. But there's supposed to be a second trailer coming out soon. So if you guys are interested in a second trailer, well, get ready for that, man. I mean, that's good. The first trailer, if you guys haven't checked it out, is in the community section. So But yeah, uh, he worked really, really hard on it, I can tell. I just didn't know uh, if he, I don't know, it's just weird. He spent four freaking years on this thing, you know? I thought he was messing with me, but no, he, he, he came through. He came through, so um, it, I just, I don't know. It just makes me feel weird about the entire situation. 
So, uh, anyways, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you press that like button for me. Subscribe if you have not. I got it. It's just like stuck in my brain that I say that now. And of course, have a super duper delicious day, everybody. Goodbye.